65 years in one little house More than a memory, more than saying I do Kiss you goodnights and I love yous Me and you, baby, we'll walk in the footsteps and Build our own family one day at a time Ten little toes, a painted pink room our beautiful baby looks just like you And we'll build this love from the ground I just want to tell you happy anniversary And thank you for being such wonderful parents over the years You've raised five wonderful children You have 13 adorable grandchildren And about 26 great-grandchildren You've been a true inspiration to all of us over the years. We appreciate all that you do for us. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. We Mom love you. Dad. Happy 60th wedding anniversary. You guys are the great, greatest parents any person could ever have. You are the greatest grandparents, greatest great grandparents. You have taught each and every one of us a lot of values and um, just wanted to say love you guys happy 60th and uh, you've created a lot of great memories for us and our grandkids and our great grandkids and um, just wanted to say thank you and you guys are the best example of a married couple anyone could ever see and um, anyway just want to say I love you very much and uh, happy anniversary and thank you guys for being you and as rednecks say you guys are top shelf and that means the best of the best Happy anniversary. Love you. Bye. Hey, Mom and Dad. Happy 60th wedding anniversary. That's quite an accomplishment. And we all feel so blessed that we can be here together to help you celebrate. Just a quick little video to tell you how much I appreciate all that you have done for me and my family and what great parents you have been. We couldn't ask for better parents, any of us. You've set such a great example in your marriage for all of us to follow. You always look out for one another. You don't necessarily always agree with one another, but when you do disagree, you do it respectfully. You've taught us that you hold each other up when one is feeling strong and the other is weak and you take turns switching that up. You've been a great example to us as parents and as a married couple and as grandparents and great grandparents. And I hope that I can do as good a job as you have shown me. I love you both very much. Happy anniversary and enjoy your party. the wind and the rain and we'll be Tammy, I could talk for two days straight about how so special you both are to me. You have been in my life for 37 and a half years of your 60 years of marriage. It's crazy, I know. Just want you both to know how grateful I am for your wisdom, for all those times when Dennis and I had growing pains as a young couple, young parents. Your loving touch for all the times you both kept all of our children, so many, your grandchildren have such fond memories of Grandma Myrna, Grandpa Ralph's house, canned peaches, pears, picnics, campouts, snowmobile rides, four-wheeling rides. I could go on about that as well. For keeping all of us strong, helping us through the tough times. 
Watching the two of you cope with what life has given us as a family is the true meaning of faith, love, and strength. Both of you have had all of these attributes in your 60 years of marriage that is so evident in your children and grandchildren. That is the best legacy to pass on. I am so blessed to have you both in my life, and I was beyond blessed to have one of your blessings, Dennis, in my life for 35 years. I am so very proud and honored to have, what, just 37 years of your 60 years of marriage. I love you both. Happy anniversary, Mom and Dad. 60 years, wow. Just think, uh, I was only five months old when you, the two of you were married. Uh, that's crazy. And I've been blessed to be a part of your family um, for almost half of that. Very close. So uh, thank you for, for that and have a wonderful anniversary and can't wait for your 70th. Here Love it goes. You. Congratulations on your very special day. For me to talk, well, there was just no way. Just thinking about it makes me cry. That's why I'm not even going to try. You two are an inspiration. Everybody can see you are who we all want to be. Look at your children, all pieces of you. I know you are so proud of all that they do. Me, Wit, and Jace were just like your own. With you guys, it has always felt like our home. But I have to focus on your one special son. Without him in my life, don't know what I'd have done. I thank the Lord that he sent him to me and the kids, and thank you for making him the wonderful man that he is. As far as in-laws go, well, I got the best. And as your daughter-in-law, I hope I pass the test. To follow in your footsteps is a goal of mine. There are no better role models than you two. For our kids to watch and learn from your life, my hope is they see us as we see you. I love you guys. Happy, happy 60th anniversary. The clouds are gonna roll, the earth's gonna shake But I'll be a shelter through the wind and the rain And we'll build this love from the ground up now till forever I've learned from Grandma and Grandpa are to always be kind and compassionate um, To count every day as a blessing And to never stop dancing and they have been an inspiration to both of us in truly loving each other and Ralph has also taught me to smash all your beer cans that way your wife can't tell how many you've drank <laughs> and I also appreciate Myrna's disgust for catch and release fishing and that you're just torturing the fish. So, <laughs> um, but they are both wonderful people, and like we said, an inspiration to us both. I'm doing a video of myself, so you must be very important. So, uh, what I think about when I think about both of you, uh, Grandpa, I think about overalls and toothpicks and disgusting handkerchiefs that should have been thrown away years and years ago. I think about um, vlogging. I think about snowmobiling and four-wheeling and camping and all the great things we got to do growing up with you. I uh, think about you shooting a rifle three inches from my ear and, and destroying that ear. And so I just go, huh, all the time. Um, I think about stories that, that I, I can't tell my son until he's in his 20s. Um, I think you know why. I think about the North Star. I think you know why. Um, I think about a lot, a lot of just a lot of great memories of, of the outdoors with you. Grandma, I think about um, peaches and pears in and, and, and your garden, and I think about you cutting my ear off when I was four, and that was the other ear that Grandpa didn't destroy, so I'm not sure what your guys' plan was. Um, I think about banana bread. I, I, I don't know why you haven't sent me any lately. Um, I think about every time I left the house, a, a snack pack um, that I would never eat because I, I don't like pretzels, and, and but I took it from you because uh, you meant so well, and and you loved me. Um, I think about uh, you cursing at the table with Donna Rick, saying some words I never thought I'd hear come out of your mouth. 
because I think about Sunday school and church also with you, Grandma. So um, I think about with you guys together just how fun it was growing up, um, coming to the house with the cousins. I think about the environment you provided for us all and, and the love you have always given us. So love you guys. Love you so much. Happy anniversary. Hi, Grandma and Grandpa. I love you guys so much and thank you so much for taking me and Kyle in when my dad and mom got married and you just treated us both like we were your own grandkids and I really appreciate it and I love your heart and what you've taught all of us. Happy anniversary. Just wanted to take a minute to say thank you for being the most awesome grandparents that anyone could have. Um, I'm so grateful that you two fell in love and created such an amazing family that I'm so proud to be a part of. You're a true testament of what marriage should be, and if I could be half of the parent that you two are, I will be doing a good job. Um, I love you with all my heart and hope you have a great day. Hi, Grandma and Grandpa. We just wanted to share with you some of the great life lessons that we've learned from you. Um, you've always encouraged us to love one another and forgive and forget and taught us that with all things work together for good. No matter what life brings us, we can get through it with faith and each other. You've taught us to hope by helping us see all of our blessings, um, but mostly you've taught us how to love. Thank you for showing us unconditional love for 60 years and being such a great example to us. We love you. Happy anniversary. Grandma and Grandpa, Paul and Whitney here. We wanted to start by saying happy 60th anniversary and we love you so much. Pretty sure this is about take 25, as this is not an easy feat. I do not like being on camera, so I'm going to try something a little different. I am going to use words to describe the two of you, my relationship with you through the years, what you mean to me, and some lessons you've taught me along the way. But first, I would like to thank you for raising such an incredible man in my dad, as that's the only reason I'm making this video right now. He was such an amazing blessing to my mother, my brother, and myself. This whole family was an amazing blessing to us, and that goes to the two of you. Grandma and Grandpa, what will follow are words that come to mind when I think of the both of you. Hope. Before you give up, think of the reason why you held on so long. Strength. God gives his hardest battles to his strongest soldiers. Support. Good people are like candles. They burn themselves up to give others light. Love. The measure of love is to love without measure. Kindness. Never look down on anybody unless you're helping him up. Forgiveness. Forgive others as quickly as you expect God to forgive you. Wisdom. Know well what leads you forward and what holds you back, and choose the path that leads to wisdom. Family. Family is not an important thing. It is everything. Values. Sticking to your values, listening to your instincts, making your own choices is so important. And faith. Faith is seeing light with your heart when all your eyes see is darkness. Grandma and Grandpa, we are all so blessed to have you in our lives. Thank you for all your love, kindness, and support through all these years. Happy 60th we love you. anniversary, Grandma and Grandpa. This is truly incredible. When I think of Grandma and Grandpa, I think of your bread and your baking and beet jelly and playing hide-and-go-seek in the haunted basement and being outside all the time. I think of um, you and Donna sitting in your your pajamas solving all the world's problems while all of us kids just ran around. Um, I think of Grandpa just outside doing, truly I don't really know what he was doing, but he was always just doing something. Um, I think of how incredible it was and what we take for granted, how we grew up with you guys, the millions of camping trips. Uh, the snowmobile trips that I still have frostbite on my toes from, 
uh, stuff that we got to do that I thought every other kid had the chance to do when, when reality that's the complete opposite. We, we really had an incredible childhood and that is because of you too. Um, thank you so much for everything you've done for us over the years and I hope you're enjoying the day. I ho hope that my children can have a glimpse into what we had growing up. Thank you for everything. I'd just like to add that I appreciate you welcoming me into your family and um, I'm sure it's been said many times, but you're a true inspiration to everyone around you. Your humble and appreciative approach to life is just contagious and um, it's, it's really remarkable to see and witness and see everyone around you and how you've affected them. So thank you and happy, happy anniversary. anniversary. Hi grandpa, hi grandma. Happy anniversary, 60 years, that's phenomenal. Uh, congratulations. Um, there's a few things that I think about when I think about you guys and your relationship. Um, the first thing is the foundation that you guys have set for for all the Frasers, for your kids and all of us grandkids um, is nothing short of remarkable. When I look around and I see the, the hearts in all of my cousins and in my aunts and uncles it's it's just such a, a a reflection of what you guys have done and and how you've raised everyone and how you've just shown your love for unconditionally and unjudgmentally um that's a very tough thing to do and and you make it look so easy and i just think it's brilliant i love it um Another big thing for me as I grow and have a family is how you incorporate Jesus and you make sure that that's a, a pivotal point in your life and to not be afraid of that and to share that with with each of us um, just so easy. You know, I just remember our big family prayers when we were little kids and Ben would try to get me to laugh was, you know, it was every year there would always be a prayer and, and you would always say grace somebody would and it was just it was special and when you look back on it today it's it's even that much more because i just think that's that's fading away slowly and it's sad and and i'm proud that you carry that on um congratulations you guys you guys are just phenomenal people and and i'm very very proud to be your grandson thank you I love you guys. Hey Grandma and Grandpa, it's Ashley. I just wanted to wish you guys a happy 60th wedding anniversary. I wanted to start off by saying that you guys are the best grandparents that anybody could have ever asked for. And that I love you guys so much. I hope that one day, long time from now, I can be able to find somebody that loves me as much as you guys have grown and built to love each other. I thank you guys for loving me and constantly being there for me and doing things for me and with me. Uh, I love you, and I hope you guys have an amazing party. I'll Happy, Happy anniversary. anniversary! We love you guys so much, and thank you for everything that you do for us. Love you. I'm coming to you from their favorite grandchild of all time, Benjamin Charles. And uh, the question is, what comes to mind, or what do I think of when I hear Grandma and Grandpa? And, and, and you know, honestly, the first thing that came to mind was pears, peaches, root beer floats, Grandma's jam. You know, and, and Grandpa banging at the door at 5.15 telling me to wake up because I'm sleeping the day away. All right, that was the first thing that came to my mind. But, you know, I know this video isn't about what they fed me. It's about their celebration of love, 65 years of love, which is a hell of an accomplishment. You know, and I, and I can make a video for hours about my grandparents and what they mean to me and how much I love them. But I'm going to keep it real short and sweet. All right, I love you guys. Not just for feeding me and sheltering me and, and you know, guiding me through life, but just being there, being, a, you know, a role model and somebody that I inspire to be. And, you know, it wasn't until I got older that I started to appreciate all the things that they told me and the things that they've done for me, you know, and I just, I'll forever be grateful for them because really they, they've helped me, you know, become a man and they're people that I want to be like. I don't care if you if you still carry a hanky, Grandpa. I still love you. Grandma, I could talk to you about anything. I love you so Happy much. 60th anniversary, Myrna and Ralph. Joel and I have just a few things to say.
first of all, I would just want to say thank you so much for welcoming me into your family and making me feel um, just so welcome and part of your own. I still remember the first time I came to visit you guys. You had cookies on the table and fresh pears for us, and Grandpa Ralph was out fishing, so that was kind of awesome, and I just ever since I've loved being a part of your family. Also, as Joel and I's wedding day is approaching, um, we'd just like to look back on your relationship and all that you guys have done, and we hope to be just like you guys someday, and hopefully it will last six years as well. Hey, Grandma and Grandpa. So blessed to be a part of this family. Everything that I've learned throughout my life started with you guys, and I, I really can't thank you enough for that, and I hope it's something that I can keep passing down to the, to the further generations. So, uh, again, can't thank you guys enough, and I hope you have a good 60th. Happy 60th anniversary. Jason Frazier, reporting live from the Frazier household. And I'm going to tell you a few reasons why I love my grandma. My well, first reason here, you come inside, and there's just some random Tupperware dishes rinsed out for who knows what. You never know when you need those. Second, all this endless supply of random snacks. You can come here whenever you would like and just eat whatever you want. You know, you got several bags of premium crackers. Never know when those are going to come in handy. Lastly, last but not least, the number one reason why I love my ground Verna is in the event of a zombie apocalypse or if Hillary becomes president, we know where to hide out with the best canned goods any woman can make just right here in your basement you got peaches pears tomatoes what have you and that's why i love my grandma marina good night and here we are venturing outside the fraser complex this immaculate shed he's built come on in here i want to show you why i love my grandpa ralph Right here, my first successful kill as a 32 year old man was with my grandpa Ralph. Had some good moments up on the mountain. Showed me a lot. Then you come inside here, you can do anything from boating, four wheeling, driving classic cars. Come over here, go camping, fix anything you could ever possibly need to fix, work on anything. He's got the most random junk I've ever seen, but he knows where every little thing is. That's why I love my grandpa Ralph. And on a serious note, grandma and grandpa, I love you guys because you're such great grandparents to me and my wife and my whole family. And we're so blessed to have you around for this long. And I congratulate you on 60 years and you're the cutest couple I've ever seen in my old dang dear life, and I love you so much. Thank you so much for everything you've done for our family. You guys are a wonderful inspiration to marriage. Thanks for having us. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. When I think of you guys, I always automatically think of that feeling that we get every time we walk into your house. Usually it's after five hours of driving, but it's the feeling... It's the smell, it's everything about walking through that door and just feeling like no matter where you're at in life or where you're, you're coming from, you're just, you, you're home and you've gotten home and you guys are the only grandparents that I have and I love you so much and you are the model for everything that we hope our relationship will be in the future. We love you guys. Hi, Grandma and Grandpa Ralph. Um, I am going to read off of a paper because otherwise I don't know if I can get through this. So here it goes. Grandma Myrna and Grandpa Ralph, you mean so much to me because you are truly like grandparents to me. I was raised with just one grandparent and kind of always felt I missed out on having close grandparents like my children have with Cricket and Kirk and with my parents until I married Jason. Little did I know that I'd have the blessing of experiencing what it's like to have special loving grandparents. 
Thank you so much for always making me feel like I'm one of your grandchildren and for bringing me in from the moment I became a Fraser. I admire you both as parents. You both should be, and I know you are, so proud of the outstanding children you raised. They are all so thoughtful, selfless, and quick to jump to help out with whatever is needed. And that all comes from parents that taught them all those things. Grandma Myrna, I admire you so much as a person. You are an example of who I someday hope to be. But most of all, I admire your love for Christ. I cherish all the time I get to spend with both of you. Thank you for loving me. I love you. Ralph and Myrna, what a beautiful example of love your marriage and commitment to each other has shown the world over these past 60 years. To your beloved family, you are nothing short of a treasure and have touched so many individuals' lives and hearts that have had the privilege of being in your company. You have both led the way with your quiet and steady strength, unrelenting kindness, and selfless generosity for all your family to witness and exemplify. I consider myself so very lucky to know you and to have become part of this amazing family you have both created. You are both truly one of a kind in more ways than one, and I wish for you, beyond measure, continued years of happiness and love, surrounded by family and friends, and I thank you immensely for the love and kindness you have always shown me. We are so fortunate to be part of your world. Love, Kifa. What's your favorite thing about going to Grandma's and Grandpa's house? Right. My favorite part is the rupee floats in the porch. My favorite part is the garden. My favorite part is playing frisbee in the yard. And what is your favorite memory that you have with Grandma and Grandpa? Fishing with Grandpa and playing frisbee with Grandma. Going four-wheeling. Uh, riding the old-time car. Great. Happy, Happy anniversary. Grandpa, we love you. What do you love about Grandma and Grandpa? I like Grandma's food and... No, Gra just one thing. And Grandpa's hugs. Oh. Thank you for um, letting me come to your house, and thank you for giving us, um, like, food to eat. I like coming over your house and staying there. Happy, happy anniversary. Hey guys, just wanted to say I love you. I miss you. I hope everything's going great out there. Um, thank you for supporting me with everything I've gone through. Um, you guys always have my back and I miss you guys. I love you. Hey Grandma Myrna. Hey Grandpa Ralph. I just wanted to say happy 60th wedding anniversary. You guys are my inspiration and I think about you guys all the time. I love you so much and I hope that this day treats you very well. Love you guys a lot. Thank you about Grandma Grandpa Frazier. They're so very kind and generous. And you're always so happy. I just love you. <laughs> happy 60th anniversary. What is your favorite thing to do with Grandma Myrna and Grandpa Ralph? Go to their house and sit with Grandma and Grandpa. What, what do Grandma and Grandpa do that make you happy? Uh, they, support, they support me a lot. If you could dress your grandma and grandpa up as anything for Halloween, what would you have them be? Mickey and Minnie. If you could make any wish for your grandma and grandpa, what would it be? It would be to uh, live a long life and to always be in our hearts. I love you and thanks for the 12 years of support. Grandpa, this is Damon. What is your favorite thing to do with Grandma Myrna and Grandpa Ralph? Play with them. Okay. What do Grandma and Grandpa do that make you happy? Sit with me. What do you do that makes Grandma and Grandpa smile? Uh, do funny things. What are they really good at doing? What's Grandma really good at doing? Not making sight words and doing a um, uh. And what's Grandpa really good at doing? 
being really funny. Okay. If you could dress Grandma and Grandpa up for Halloween, what would you dress them up as? Hulk Smash and Supergirl. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Grandma and Grandpa. Happy anniversary, Grandma and Grandpa. We love you. Love you. You're the best. Say love you. Thank you. Hi, Grandma and Grandpa. Happy anniversary. For 13 years, you guys have been my support and my joy. Grandparents. Gentle, good-natured, soft-hearted, and grand. Ready always with a smile and a warm, helpful hand. Admired and regarded as knowledgeable and wise. Train <laughs> their grandchildren to reach for the skies. Proudly showing pictures for everyone to see. Always telling stories of how things used to be. Reading books, playing games, or listening patiently. Easy going, easy living, enjoying life's pleasures. Noticing that long life brings so many treasures. Truly, grandparents are wonderful in so many ways. Special people who always seem to brighten our days. Grandma and Grandpa, I wouldn't be the person I am now if it wasn't for all your support in my life. You've both taught me what it is to believe in God more and... I've started to read the Bible more, and I love you guys with all my heart. I love Grandpa and Grandma about going to Japan and I don't know what's staying next, Mom. I love you, Grand Great Grandma and Grandpa and Grandpa Ralph. What do you like to do at their house? Play. What do you play with? Dollars and dollies. Yeah. Say love you. Love you. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandpa. Hi, Grandpa. Say happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Well, what do you like to do when you go to Grandma's house? Um, playing with her and doing stuff. Playing with Grandma? Yeah. Is she fun to play with? Yeah. What do you like to go see when you go to Grandma's house? Everything. I love you guys. Bye-bye. Okay, Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Say okay, hi, Grandpa. Hi, Grandpa. Okay, I love you. Love you. Thanks for spending time with me. Thank, thank you, sir. Spend time with me. I say, Grandpa, thanks for playing tea party with me. Thank you for playing tea party with me. Grandpa, we hope you're enjoying today and being surrounded by the village you have created. Look around. Everyone in this room exemplifies the values, morals, and integrity you have passed down over the years. The building blocks of all 44 of us started with your foundation. I know you are proud of your 60 years together, and believe me, that is incredible. But what is more impressive is the legacy you have built in all of us. Through the thick and the thin, you have been the rock that we can all rely on and continue to do so. You have had a poem hanging on your wall since I can remember, and I know everyone knows the poem. It is about the footprints that the Lord leaves as he walks beside us every day, and in the most troublesome times, he carries us. All of us know you to have left your footsteps beside us as well. You carry us when we are all down, and you will continue to do so every day. Happy 60th anniversary. Grandma, Grandpa, Sixty-five years, one little house, more than a memory. Saying I'll do, kissing the good night, and I love you, me and you, babe. Walking footsteps, build our own family. Day at a time, ten little toes. A beautiful baby looks just. Like you and we'll build this love from the ground up now till forever. It's all of me, all of you. Just take my hand and I'll be the man your dad hoped that I'd be. And we'll build this love from the ground up for worse or for better. That you I'll stand through the good and the bad. We'll give all that we have and we'll build this love from the ground.
Grandpa, I got a question for you. What are those? <laughs> <laughs> What's up? What are those? <laughs> well, Grandpa, I'm up here. Look at the camera. Your 78th birthday. How do you feel? 78. Do you say? Would you say time flies? It flies the older you get. <laughs> Can I have one question for you? What are those? <laughs> I got a question for you. What are those?